Hello ladies and gents, this is Kano from the Gamer Section back with another review. For today's review is on Mato Animalish for the Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4 and 5, Nintendo Switch and PC. In Mato Animalish, you play as a duo of Doe and Graham, which they are on an investigation of Animalish that rips into the battles of the demonic abominations that can bring the city into its downfall. You will team up with people that you don't like in the game to unravel the secrets in the city. On the graphical side, it's an anime cell shade style game, so you will get that true anime feel with this game. The audio for the characters is decent with the sounds from each characters in the game. When you look at the music in the game, it's one of the best from the sadness from the music to the creative aspects of the action portion of the game. The movement is very fast and fluid most of the time, but it does tend to drop a notch in the game. Mato Animalis is a turn-based RPG style game with visual novels aspect to it. You spend most of the time exploring the city and talking to people to find out what is going on with the demonic nature. When it comes down to some of the visual novel aspect to it, the dialogue is very long to read and you get accustomed to the game on the investigation side. Now when it comes to the battles, you mainly battle on a demonic alternate world in a turn-based style where you hit your enemies, then wait until the CPU turn is over, then you are able to hit again. The level up system is different based off the fact that once you win in battles, you upgrade a few notches in about two battles, which it is crazy to me. You can find different weapons in the game by finding treasures or buying it from different vendors in the game. There is a few mini games, but it's more so when your character sits in a chair as you see on the screen right there. The biggest flaw in Mata Animalis is the fact that this game has way too much dialogue in the game. You are mostly reading the dialogue than actually fighting in the game. Now when it comes to the RPG elements in the game, it's not fun and inspiring to keep playing for a long period of time. I'm personally not too much into the turn based RPG, but I felt this game should have been more so in an action RPG style instead. When it comes to the storyline portion of this game, I felt it was okay, but it just didn't do it justice of an entertaining storyline or wants to keep you wanting to play for a long period of time. For that, I give Mattel and Amalys a three out of five. Thank you for tuning into the best place for gaming and that's the gamer section. Be sure to hit the like button on the video and please subscribe to the channel.